Elizabeth Martinez from menopausepositive.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to look after your skin, your menopausal skin and to get back that beautiful younger look that we all deserve because we just want to look young and beautiful and healthy. Now, in previous videos I introduced you to this beautiful treatment, menopause 15 face and neck treatment. It's not just a face cream. Here we got 15 treatments combined and proven to give you back in seven days that amazing, beautiful, younger look. So I just love it, it's beautiful and I just want to say thank you to all women around the world who trust me and they keep getting this amazing treatment and I'm just happy that you just are feeling better with yourself and you are getting back that confidence and that beautiful look because um, menopause is a massive massive issue in our lives and women will have to go through a lot and it doesn't mean that menopause is the end of our life. It's like a, a new third life and we can get into it with grace, you know, and confidence and just being positive and feeling beautiful. Whatever the concept of beauty means for you. Because it's just interesting. One day we can talk about this. What does it mean beauty? Now, um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I just want to give you more tips because it's really, really important that we look after our skin, not just externally, for the reason I got this amazing treatment, but also internally. So what we are going to try to do is just to combine this balance between putting onto our skin the right treatments, the right products, to get back that beautiful look, but also internally. Now, um, I want to talk a little bit about menopause and how to get a glowing skin right now. Um, maybe your wisdom and your confidence may grow as you get older, but the same isn't true for um, your hormone levels and menopause, when we talk about menopause, we are talking about hormones. It's everything about hormones. So during menopause, the estrogen levels, they drop dramatically and these have a massive impact on your skin, yes? So when you have less estrogen, it means that your skin is going to get really dry and if it's dry you will get a lot of wrinkles and also you will get a lot of uh, sagginess. Your skin gets really really saggy and um, the effects of aging just accelerate too fast. But let's talk about getting new habits that are going to work with you on your favour to give you a new life. So we can do that with this beautiful treatment, menopause 15 face and neck, 15 treatments combined in one beautiful treatment to get back that beautiful look. And you can look at my skin and you can read the reviews and you can get into my website and to see how many women around the world are so happy with this beautiful and unique formula, okay? Now, let's talk a little bit more about skin and menopause. Um, menopause will cause too many changes to your skin and at the beginning they are not positive at all. So basically you are going to lose the collagen in your skin, which means that elasticity is absolutely going to drop to zero and that is one of the main things but also it will give you this overwhelming dryness and um, 
it's just a sensation, you know, it's just terrible. It's, it's like a, you really got to moisturize your skin. Now, I got for you some tips and advice. A part of putting this beauty onto your skin, I want to talk about some specific new habits that I would love you to get into it, to do it, to practice every day. So, for example, let's talk about cleansing your skin. We need to clean up our skin. So, when, before you go to bed, if you wear makeup or if you don't wear makeup, you have to get into the habit of cleansing your skin. But it's really important to get the right products to do this. So, for example, in, just because we are talking about menopause and skin, you have to cleanse your skin with something that is gonna um, gives you is, is some extra um, moisturize. So, for example, I do clean my skin with um, I, I got an amazing a uh, uh, product I get it in the supermarket. And it's a fantastic mixture between, I like oils, it's between oils, or sometimes I make my own one. I use lavanda, or I put um, salt, um, sea salt, or you can find, just try to find the right product to clean your skin, but not to make it drier. Remember, in menopause, your skin is getting extremely dry, so you need to clean your skin with something that is going to just help you to get that hydration back. So remember to clean your skin at night before you go to bed and in the morning. And then you can put onto your skin this amazing treatment and after that in the mornings you can wear your makeup or at night you just put it onto your skin, you go to bed or you can watch a movie uh, to relax with your family and then ready to sleep with a clean hydrate skin. Now, another tip that you need to really be careful with is hydration. You really need to, um, it doesn't matter what kind of skin you got, but I think in menopause we all agree because of the hormonal changes that we just get one kind of what type of skin and that skin is, the type of skin is just extra dry. So remember, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate your skin constantly. But I go menopause 15, you just can put it in the mornings onto your skin and it will keep your skin hydrated throughout the day. If you wear makeup, it's okay, put it on the top. And there, I just, I don't have, um, to be honest, I don't wear a lot of makeup, just lipstick, a little bit of makeup on my eyes. I never wear foundations, but a lot of women, they just adore their makeup, their foundation. You can still wear your makeup, but you remember to look after your skin. So you just need to keep your skin hydrated. So menopause 15 treatment, and then you can wear your makeup on the top, and you feel your skin all the time hydrated because of the fantastic ingredients I got in here for you. 15 treatments, very unusual formula because we got big wax, nine fantastic oils, and we got homeopathic treatments. It's a beautiful, unusual treatment for your skin. Now, what other thing we can do to help our skin to eat our um, antioxidants? So, antioxidants, um, if you want, you know, collagen is something that will give elasticity to your skin, but because our hormone levels, the estrogen, is just going down, we need to get back that collagen, and uh, one way is we can buy collagen powders, and we can take this, or also is in food, and I think one of the best ways to get back that collagen is to eat a lot of antioxidants. So if you are in your 30s, you don't have to wait to be on your 40s and 50s. We need to start to look after our skin when we, since we are younger. But also if we are mature, 
doesn't matter. So try to eat your antioxidants. Green tea is perfect. And also try to eat a lot of, we all know these, vegetables, green. And I personally think to eat green vegetables is really good for your skin. A lot of people, um, they make smoothies or juice with a kale, spinach, a lot of green in there. I personally, and through several years of investigations, but also just experiencing that myself, I think the best thing you can do is to eat your greens, to chew them. So what you need to do is to eat the greens and to produce a lot of saliva, chewing and chewing and chewing, you know, masticate, and then all this saliva will make all these greens to get really into the cells of your body. So I prefer to eat the greens than to make them into juices. It's really important to eat your greens, and um, this will give you a really healthy look um, to your skin. You know, eat a lot of avocado. There are a lot of important fats, important fats that you need to keep eating. Olive oil, seeds, nuts, avocados. I love avocados. Um, just keep eating avocado. If you don't like avocado, you can mix it up uh, with nice things. I personally, in the morning, I always have a slice of rye bread and I smash an avocado, I put seeds on it, I put olive oil, lemon, um, sometimes I put figs, things like that. You can put honey. Just try to be more adventurous and definitely it's important to change our diets. So remember, you are what you eat. So it's really easy to eat healthy. Maybe the first two weeks is a little bit difficult, but then after that you get into new habits. So try not to eat too much sugar, and if you eat carbohydrates, try to eat healthy, healthy carbohydrates, such as spelled bread, rye, um, whole grains. It's, it's really easy, it's not that difficult. Um, also, regarding the food, try to eat um, small portions throughout the day, which is better for your body. Another tip I got for you is stock up on soya. So what happens is soya is absolutely full of isoflavones and um, tofu is beautiful. Um, in these days, if you go to the supermarket or a natural shop, you can find different presentations for soya, for tofu, and they're really tasty. It's like, a, you know, always when I look at these beautiful Japanese, Chinese women, they all have such a beautiful skin, you know, and um, sometimes you ask them, how old are you? And they are, no, I'm 50 and 60 and they look like they are 30, but they have a very rich um, diet on soya and soya is just beautiful. So remember isoflavones, it's really important. You also can find this in vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin A is really important for your skin. Um, my menopause 15 phase acne treatment is full of vitamin A. So a lot of people talk about vitamin C and D, which are really important, but vitamin A reconstruct your cells. And that's really, really, really important because you are building, you are building a new skin, reconstructing a new skin. Well, now, what else we can talk about? Um, you need to look for a balance internally, and I am sure we all have to. Life is not easy. Life is up and down constantly. Um, I think through the years, we just try to learn to adapt. And we all have such a different emotional natures. But when we are talking about the stress, I think in this moment, the whole planet is suffering of stress. So it's important to help ourselves to relax more and more and more. So we can do a lot of breathing, you know. Um, I'm just going to upload some videos about some techniques with breathing, how to breathe properly, because we, when we are little, if you look at any baby, they breathe with their stomach, it's abdominal, but as we grow up, the, the air just goes just through this sun, through here, it doesn't go deep 
deeper, deeper in our stomach. So I will make a video about just specifically breathing. So it's really important to breathe properly. It will help every single cell of your body and it will help you to relax, to feel less stress about life. So remember, it's, a, it's just important to keep a balance. And I just love to do these videos about um, how to help ourselves to have a better quality life. We need to help each other and to inspire each other to get a better life. It doesn't matter about your background, your social uh, situation, your economical situation, and wherever you are at the moment, it always can get better. And we can help ourselves with little things. But remember, when you're regarding about the stress, yes, and self-confidence, is just, we can do a lot of things to help each other. And one could be breathing, keep an eye on the stress levels, and um, just to try to get into a routine in which it doesn't matter how busy you are in life, you know, but you can do a little bit of yoga, you can do a little bit of meditation, you can do a little bit of visualization, you can do a lot of things before you go to bed or in the mornings or during the day, um, just to help yourself to find that inner balance that is going to be a reflection externally also to your skin and we all deserve happiness and uh, it's just there it's simple it doesn't have to be difficult at all another tip i got for you today is work it out so we know that to work out is really important for our bodies for our health for our well-being but there are just that um, it's not just about toning our muscles and um, our body. It's also when you work out, you can find different routines according uh, the way you are feeling. So, for example, um, if you are on your 50s and 60s, if you just go for a nice walk, or if maybe you do a routine of 15, 20 minutes, you don't have to go to the gym. So women, I personally like to go to the gym, but I don't go a lot. I used to go a lot before when I was younger. Now maybe I go once, twice a week, but I try to do, you know, you just put, you just can switch on your TV and you can find really nice routines. You can do Tai Chi, yoga, as I mentioned before, or you can do a little bit of um, workout in which, um, yes, you just, sweat things that make you sweat like a to dance samba or just uh to do a little bit of running standing up or jumping what i mean is i'm trying to tell you that you just need to do a little bit every day 15 20 minutes every day of cardio and uh, just pick up some of the stuff you really like the most whether it's dancing or going to the gym but please keep doing physical activity um what else I got for you? Another important tip. Um, so remember, moisturizing your skin, cleansing your skin, but also it's really important to use SPF, sun protection. So always, always protect your skin. I always do. I got into that height since I was 15 years old, a long time ago. So always you put um, your treatment for menopause, and uh, then you put your um, some screen protection on, onto that and then you can wear your makeup if you wear makeup. If not, just that. But it's really important to protect our skin. I want to tell you, in menopause 15 face and neck treatment, I got bee wax and jojoba oil. And those two are an amazing treatments to protect your skin against the environment. So it's like a, it creates like a, a layer that protects your skin against the sun and the damage and the pollution, but it won't clog your pores. It means that you can breathe, your skin can breathe through these beautiful products. And it will help you a lot uh, against the sun damage. So that's another thing. And um, I 
mind. I'm just trying to think what else I can tell you. Well, that's it basically. And don't forget to drink plenty of water. And I will give you another tip about regarding water. Try to have always warm water because when you have cold water, it doesn't help really your internal organs. Whereas if you have warm water, you know, it's slightly warm, it will help to protect the cells, your skin, your organs. It's just very friendly for um, a, your health, warm water. Most people, they always drink cold water, but trying to get into the routine to drink warm water. Um, even if you feel hot or you just finish a routine of working out or things like that, just try warm water. It will help you not to feel so thirsty and is really, really good for your skin. A little tip in there. Um, basically, well, those are a few tips I want to share with you today uh, to keep going, to keep feeling beautiful, to keep believing in yourself and to keep, you know, helping that self-confidence to grow and to grow and to grow up. Because life is just once and um, we have to make the most of it. So again, thank you and um, don't forget to subscribe. Just um, click the link before. You will get more information about menopause. And it's just has been a pleasure uh, for all the amazing news I gave in around the world, making women happy. Now, I forgot this one. The last advice is sleeping. Try to sleep well. And uh, that's a good thing just to talk about now because when you're going through the menopause, we are talking about hot flashes, night sweats, high stress. And I personally, I stopped sleeping when I was going through my menopause and it was terrible. I just couldn't feel like a human being. And then I was so desperate that I went into tablets to help me to sleep and it was worse. I couldn't function, I couldn't drive, it just was terrible. So for that reason also, I developed uh, with a group of homeopaths and herbalists, menopause insomnia is this a beautiful, beautiful formula that's gonna help you to release stress, to relax, and to go and to have a natural sleep with no side effects. So remember, one of the best things you can do to get a beautiful skin is sleeping, yeah? So let's go through everything really quickly. Eating healthy, sleeping, working out, and looking after your skin, not just internally, but externally. And I got menopause, 15, face and neck treatment. Thank you so much, keep going, and please have a beautiful life, because we deserve it. You deserve it. And thank you so much. Bye.